Thin Mill Signature 6, Engine Size 5. Ah. Uh, I don't know if this is good or bad. Well, I suppose it's going to be a. a uh, hmm. Well, let's take a look at the missile design then. Conventional ICBM? Well, I guess this is it then, there's not really conventional. So these are basically nukes. Right, so I can see the strength over here, reactor power. Well. So that shows us how really far behind we are in deed in military. Hmm. We need some technology. I might design a weapons platform, actually. The Macedonia would be a good name for that. Uh, so we're not going to need any fuel on it, as it's going to be in basically orbit of Earth. Okay, we'll get rid of that. We'll bump up that armor to about 10. Maybe higher than that, actually, but it's still quite heavy now. Uh, so we'll get rid of that cargo capacity. Well, I might have some cargo capacity, so we can have some ordnance on the actual ship in the future. Uh, then again, it's going to be basically laser armed, isn't it, right now? I don't have any of op the options. I probably took the uh, bridge off again, didn't I? No, it's still there. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that fuel storage. Right, it brings that weight down. Okay. Oh, right, we still need to design the actual weapons, don't we? Right. Okay, we'll wait a little while until we have some uh, better technology for weapons. Otherwise, we're going to be wasting our time. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's been completed. Fantastic. The maintenance facility has been constructed on Earth as well. Brilliant. Ah, uh, we might build another 100 automated mines so we can get things set up in the solar system. Perhaps. Uh, then again, I might just increase my number of construction. Something like that. That's going to take a long time, but it should speed up and speed up and speed up. Okay. Energy weapon. Sensors. That's uh, the Alpha Shield project. Uh, I don't see any beam fire control. Ah, beam fire control, there we go. Come on, people. Ah, damn it. Well, uh, not take that long, I guess. Missiles and kinetic weapons. Right, enhanced radiation warhead, 50% yield to radiation. Implosion fission warhead. Wow, that sounds really dangerous. Uh, missile agility magazine feed system. Hmm. Ordnance production missile launch and reload rates. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey. Uh. Uh, maybe Gaul's weapons. I mean, they're really like some low range. Well, let's see. An implosion probably would be the better warhead. Right. This reload rate is the size of the launch that can be reloaded in 30 seconds. Smaller launch this technology will reload more quickly and larger launch will require more time. Well, that's something to take into account. Okay. Uh, so we'll go with Implosion Fission Warheads. And... Missile Agility... God damn this. Try and make some decent missiles. Hmm...
We've almost reached a uh, billion people on Earth again, so that's going to be quite nice. Okay. Right, so we're looking at 2054, 2055, 2054. Hmm. Right, the supply of uranium has been exhausted on Earth. Right, the return for the Togo class has been completed on Earth, that's good to know. Uh, so I might have a Togo constructed and then at least we can... Um, uh, yeah, so let's have that... new names? No. Call it a Togo. Uh, basically have that constructed and then we can have that to tow out any sort of space station that we build in the future. I'll keep expanding the size of this shipyard. And same for this. You too, if you can. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Right. So, our supply of iridium on Luna has been exhausted. So, how will we do with iridium on Earth? Iridium. We have a stockpile of about 65,943. So, we'll have 1,025 on Earth itself. Venus. Okay. So, we kind of need. Right. Saurium. We still have quite a while left of Saurium. So, that's nice. Uh, we're going to run out of copper mites soon, but I mean, we have uh, Luna and Venus supplying us with copper mites, so we're, we're really honestly fine on copper mine. We have no problems at all with that one. Right. All of our research projects apparently have finished. That was quick. Or not. That's strange. Okay. Now, I think we might design a beam ship primarily, well, have it primarily based around beams, but have some uh, missile launchers as backup or something. Uh, that could work out quite nicely for us. At least then we have something to close in with. Right. Um, again, yes, I do apologise for being a little less chatty. I'm just trying to look up on the internet how the hell to actually design a ship. <laughs> I, I don't want to design a crappy one because, I mean, there's at least four military ships in the other system. Okay. Ah, nice. I right, will just have days tick by. Well, Earth is actually just past... Well, Earth is pretty close to the Proxima Centauri jump point. It's dangerous. Okay. Um, Saura Hill has increased um, his research. I don't know why I said he. He's a little strange. Call him a he. I was going to go with her. So she's increased her research bonus to 35%. Okay, we've completed our research into the Alpha Shields. That's pretty good then. Defensive Systems, Beta Shields. Right. I mean, it's really handy just to have them just to soak up a few shots. It could really make the difference between life or death. Um, right, we do need to work on this to make our lasers more effective. Basically, higher wavelengths have uh, just basically better damage over range. Uh, with lasers, you lose damage the longer range they fire at. So that's something to take into account. Okay, this is getting annoying. Completed research into the missile uh, agility. I mean, do we want small missiles so they're really hard to shoot down, or what? Hmm. Oh, we have a lot of research left spare. Uh. 
Composite armor. Well, armor would be really handy, actually. Ah, Jordan Nelson, you're really good, actually. So we might have you working on our uh, magnetoplasma drive technology. It would be pretty handy. So we'll get that going. And then at least we have that in the future. So that's going to be ready in 2057. It's going to be at least a few years before we're ready to actually go and even head back to Proxima Atari. I might construct another ship and go through jump point 2 and see where we l end up. I mean, why should exploration stop for the human race? We don't give in. We do not give in. Okay. So we're gonna call this the, uh... Hmm. Call it the, uh... Berlin class. Well, the Berlin. Right, so we'll have another one of those lined up. We can't give in to the aliens. We cannot give in. We cannot let humanity stay stagnant. <sighs> what a shame, though. I mean, we might take some ground forces with us in the future, but I... Yeah. I don't know how much use that could be. But yeah, they are just there. That's terrifying. Okay. Let's take a look at our designs, then. So we still don't have that for the art of sensors. What is it that we're missing? Unable to design out to sensors, missile flight control without to sensor strength technology. I guess we need uh, to research out to sensor strength technology then. Right, so beam fire control. Right, note the minimum range for combat is assumed to be 10,000 kilometers. All two hit chances will be calculated. Right, okay. Hmm. Normal range. Interesting. Active range it right. So that would give us forty uh, million kilometer range. Right, fire control versus speed. Fire control four times the size. So let's take a look at tons. Then. So this is already weighing. It's only weighing a hundred tons actually. So let's see. Uh, so it's four hundred tons. Tracking speed is 5,000 kilometers per second. Ship base system. Actually, we'll design two versions of this. And then we can use it on different things. So, the, uh, Cox Benson Heavy Industries uh, beam fire control for the ship and then for the space and security. There we go. CWIS, so that's Gauze. Cloaking technology we don't have. EM detection. Right, so this is electromagnetic. Right here. Let's go to um, missile launchers. I guess the larger it is, the. Uh, yeah, so that's the maximum missile size. So, what we should really do is design our missile first and then design our launcher around the missile. That'd make a lot of sense. Right, so this would be our missile engine. Hmm. I mean, do we want a large missile? Who knows? Right, missile design. So I probably have to research the missile first before I do that. That's going down fairly quickly. We're up to 7,400 now. Alrighty-o! Oh. So, let's assume that we have about 40 uh, million kilometer range. They were firing about 15. I might be able to try and replicate their sort of range with my technology, so that might give us an indication of what kind of technology level they're at. I think they're kind of on par with me in a lot of things. 
I didn't get a sense of their speed of the ship because, I mean, I just keep 30 fucking days. I didn't- I should have taken note of how long it actually took for the ship to be destroyed. But there was a hell of a lot of damage inflicted to our ship, and that was only a 10,000 ton ship with about, what was it, 4 or 5 armor layers? So it wasn't that strong at all, so in the future... We know it had a bit more armor, because our armor proved to be quite resilient. So that's quite good for us. So saddened by that. <laughs> I might want to design a ship uh, that's capable of, uh, well, basically a fighter, actually. Uh, something that maybe has jump capable engines and we could send it into this Proxima Centauri system with uh, sensors. Basically, have it as like a tiny one way sort of scout or something like that. But we were in this system for quite some time. So that does show the fact that they don't really have sensors of that range. Or anything like that, because they didn't know we were in a system. They only knew once we were above their world. Right, Team on Earth has completed research into blows and fish and warhead technology. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to uh, go to... Um, would it be missiles and kinetics with the engine? No, so it's going to be power and propulsion. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ion drive. So this is for the uh, missile. So, yeah, there we go. So we'll start designing a missile then. So we need to work on the engine and the warhead. Probably by the time we're ready with all our uh, weapons technology, it might be 2057, and then at least uh, we'll have the magnetoplasma drive technology. I may in fact actually wait for that. That would probably make a lot of sense actually. Right, so completed range into the beam fire control. So we'll go back to that. And we'll go to sensors actually. Right, we have a few more things here. Ah, right, this is the uh, things we designed. Uh, fire control speed rate in active grab sensor. I suppose I might as well research that. Okay. Well, we finished that research, I believe. Ah, no, it's not finished yet. Soon. Maybe another month, perhaps. But I do want to have very long-ranged um, fire control if possible. And just make sure we get the drop on them every time. So we're going to have to have some pretty good systems on it. Basically, um, sensors and etc. Really? It's going to take that long? At least in that fashion, we'll be able to uh, get the drop on them. We're going to have to design and build a few ships, actually. So I might want to actually start the construction of a new um, shipyard and military shipyard. It's going to take a hell of a long time to get it up to size, though. But our military ships won't be that large. Or at least, I hope not. Ah, the, but the problem is I'm going to have to build a jump engine on them, aren't I? Because otherwise I'd have to construct a jump gate, and that allows them to come back as well. I'd have to construct a jump gate on the Proxima Centauri jump point, and then another one on the other side. So then it'd be straight wormhole travel. But that leads to dangerous problems, such as the fact that they could follow me back. Right, so we completed our research into the Ion Drive missile engine. So we'll go back to our research. Okay, so... Well, let's go to missile design. Bloody hell. Right, so we have missile design here. Right, there we go, we have our engine here. So its total size is 5. Um... Okay. Missile series, we have no sensors on here. Con Warhead strength. Right. Size 5 missile. So it has a speed of 2400, well, 24,000 kilometers per second. It has only a 10 maneuver rating. Maneuver rating. Chance to hit. Okay. So it'd have a very low chance to hit, really. It might be worth it just to create this for now. And then at least we have something. 
Right, second stage if desired. I mean, that's the missile engine. So that's basically to have um, some sort of missile in it. Well, some sort of sensor in it or something. Let's close this and go back. Oh. Hmm. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I just need to increase my damage potential of these missiles. I mean, that would increase its chance to hit. That would give it a much pow more powerful warhead. Hmm. Dramatically decrease in reload time. Right. Magazine. Let's, um, right, so that just increases the strength of the warhead. We'll go for agility. Lovely. Okay. <sighs> I mean, having missiles, they might not be very good missiles. The, the very, very fast missiles are very fast. 2400, 24,000 uh, kilometers per second is insanely fast. That's insane. That's faster than anything I have now. And um, I don't know what kind of range would be able to fire them at. But they could be really good to try and overwhelm the enemy ships, basically, with the amount of... Uh, Incoming projectiles. So we'd have to see. I mean, it could work out nicely. It could work out quite badly. Who knows? Right, we completed research into the visible light laser, so we'll keep going. We must go deeper. Near ultraviolet. Okay. Had to grab sensors. They'll be ready soon. Okay, Koki. doing this, I um, shall keep trying to find a bloody website that works. Right. Advanced Warship Tutorial. That sounds quite promising. I really want to avenge my losses. I really want to get back into the Proxima Centauri system because that world, if we could take that world, it would be a fantastic home for humanity. Right, Team on Earth has completed research into their autograph sensors. So maybe we can now uh, build uh, sensors. Yeah, we can. Brilliant. Okay, EM sensitivity, total sensor size. Maximum range is 5 million kilometers. Um. Maximum range versus a 3,000 ton object. So that's basically how small we can detect something. I might go for a 1,000. Missile fire control. Ah. Okay. That's all good. That's all bad. Total sensor size. So, what does that impact? 
So if we go to 10, what would that change? Right, so it ramps up the range, okay. And that would weigh 500 tons. That's really not much at all. Okay. Well, we'll take a look at that in the future, actually, once we have some uh, better fire control, I guess. Sensors and fire control. Right, match tracking time. Hmm. Planetary sensor. Thermal sensor. Beam fire control range. Electronic warfare. That could lead to some interesting things. Get that started. Right, so how are we going with the. Ah, oh, right, Team Slash Academy. Okay. Espionage could be quite good. Are these basically our espionage guys? Yeah, they are, okay. So make these guys into a team. Create them into a team. Five officers are required to create a team. Okay. So let's get rid of all of them and we'll see who we want. So, one, two. Well, that's our Oliver Campbell. Mm. He's really good though. Three, four, five. It's population only. Right, so he created a team. I think. Right, okay. Rating 125. Espionage target. Well, we don't have an espionage target, sadly. We'll create a few teams. This will be our diplomatic team. Our diplomatic team is okay. Xenologist. Oops. That's a very good team. Geology. Not really good in the geology department. It's kind of meh. Well, we'll see what that happens. Well, what happens with them? I basically think it's... I'm actually not entirely sure. Oh, geology teams, right, geology teams. You can send them onto worlds and basically they'll be able to uh, detect things that maybe space-based geosurveys can't. Okay, espionage will be quite handy. Hmm. Adgast, atmosphere. Oops. Right here. How are we going in research then? So working on the near ultraviolet laser, working on the missile agility. Right. What? Did the person in charge of this project die? Right, so let's cancel this project for the time being and we'll reassign somebody. Ah It's pathetic. That's absolutely pathetic. Well, we have another five research labs to put towards um, building something more powerful for our weapons. Mm. Jump engine slides would be quite nice. Composite armor? Biology genetics. Uh, let's go for the uh, genome sequencing. At least we'll put them towards something that's they're good at. And they'll progress that at a decent speed. Okay. I wonder how long before we have the uh, Berlin ready for action. And it won't go back to the Proxima Centauri system. But then again, we just have as much chance of uh, meeting our horrible fates in another system. Right, supply of Eurydium on Earth has been exhausted. That's great to know. Oh. Uh, the, uh, Carl Silicano geology team does not believe any new material projects. Okay, so they were surveying Earth then, apparently. Interesting. Right here. Now, do I want to, um, retire the Toronto and Washington? Possibly. I mean, they're not really doing too much right now, but I might as well keep them just in case. Right. 
This is going a lot faster than it was saying. I mean, we're up to about 8,200 now. Let's go back to this, actually. 